<laughs> Hi everyone, this is Deborah. I wanted to thank Bob for the lovely letter. I went to the mailbox today and I got it. Thank you so much for taking the time to write that letter. And yes, I'm also stuck in the 60s. You're stuck in the 50s. I'm stuck in the 60s. Um, so let me give you an update of what I've been doing. Uh, I just, today was my first day uh, with my new employer. Oh, uh, we have to learn a whole new computer system. I actually went to mail some packages today and it's a Saturday and the post office closes at noon. I mean, really, when did this happen? <laughs> so it's rainy, it's a rainy day. But my first day was pretty nice. I was so excited. I didn't even sleep last night. So uh, as I stated previously, I did uh, do my taxes. I tried H&R Block, but they there was a glitch. They kept saying I needed a 1099G. Well, I've never had a 1099G. And that form is for um, if you've had unemployment or an interest if you got a re, uh, refund on your state the interest not the interest but uh, um, yeah a refund on your state then you would have gotten a 1099 G well I, I, I've never I always get a refund on my state and I never had to have this form before and H&R Block I don't know what is wrong with their system people but for three days I was like scratching my head like what the hell so I went under Credit Karma did my taxes in five minutes they didn't even ask for this form and it was free people it was free credit karma has helped me a lot uh because uh i should have already sold my house uh, two years ago but i keep having to have operations um i had to get a, a loan to get me through until I can uh, sell my place uh, because the HOA's assessment kills me. Yeah, they just, just come up with a figure and you gotta pay it, right? So I don't like HOA's, but uh, yeah, today was the first day of my new employer and I had a good time. I learned a lot and, but after five hours, I am in so much pain. It's just not funny, people. It's not fun. Um, so yesterday I found out my granddaughter had been in the hospital not once but twice uh, she just had her tonsils out last week and um, some of the scabbing in her throat she had tonsil stones too just uh, fell off broke off and she was bleeding and choking on her blood like she showed me a picture of it and of, of the blood in the hospital that they collected and it was just I mean I was like losing my lunch the poor thing um, and then I talked to my ex-husband and he's probably going to be having surgery around the same time I'm going to be having surgery so uh, I just realized today that uh, 20 about 20 years ago I was going to do a calendar a really sexy calendar with all my employees now these guys lift logs, you know, half of them, uh, they're very ripped. Let me just say, if you ever seen tree men who work the grounds, especially the groundsmen, they are ripped. And I took a lot of pictures, very sexy with their shirts off. And I thought that would be a great present to give my ex-husband is to, and, and some of these guys aren't even alive anymore. Some of them are missing, I don't know, but um, yeah. I'm going to do a, a calendar for my ex-husband because now he has the, the company. And um, so I think he will get a big kick out of it. Most of the employees, I think he may have still, out of about the 12 employees, maybe one is still around. I don't know. But I was always a picture taker even before Facebook or YouTube of, uh, so that's going to be a, a big shock to him to know that I still have this photos, I hope. It was on my other computer, and a lady that's not no longer working with us anymore, she's now on the West Coast, she 
put it all on a hard drive for me. So let's see if I, it'll pull up and retrieve those photos. But uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Uh, my car is still loaded. Uh, it's too painful for me to unload it right now. Uh, but something that's been bothering me a lot is because um, I miss my mother and father so much and my sister who's no longer here. Uh, I just wanted to wish I could reach out to every one of you all and I hope that you understand what I'm trying to tell you. I kept a diary most of my life. I have a diary that's about 58 years old. And it, of course, it's falling apart just like I am. But I made a big mistake. So if you guys are keeping a journal or a diary, write down what you're, what you're feeling. I wrote down silly stuff like I went for a walk or something. 50 years from now, that's not going to, you know, do anything for you. Uh, you need to write down how you were feeling. And I wish I had paid more attention to my mom and dad and how they were when they were young parents. Uh, I wish I had known, you know, to do this, but, you know, a 12 year old girl's not going to know this. I uh, wish I had wrote down things that they had done because they're no longer here. And uh, yeah, I wish I had done that. Write down your feelings, what you're feeling. Uh, if you've got the time, write down what you did that day, that's fine. Uh, also write down um, if you went someplace special, like to the zoo, because you know, 50 years from now, those, those are the kind of things you'll wanna know. Um, I'm trying to hold my earring in. Maybe I should just take it off. Yeah, it's silly. It's like the post is just not that long. I don't know if you can see that. But whatever, we're going to get these earrings off so I can keep talking to you. So, yeah, I wish I had known what it was like to be around my parents and, like, what, what, did, what did they talk about? Uh, what did they do in their course of the day? Uh, th those are memories I'll never, ever get back. Uh, but I have a, lo a lot of regrets with my mom, especially. But she did give me the best compliment I've ever gotten in my life. And that is, she said, Debbie, you were the only one who never was mean to me. That means a lot now that helps me get through her passing uh for her to say that to me on her deathbed now, i don't know she could have said that to everybody else but i doubt it because i was never mean to my mom now there was times where she was not my best friend and we were at each other's you know uh we got on each other's nerves a lot there was times i didn't talk to her for months at a time but i realize now that you should never do that with your mom or dad. You should always keep those lines of communication because this is why it won't be until you are very mature emotionally that you realize that parents do do things that you may not understand until you are much older. So it's all about forgiving and um, any any of you all that are not talking to a family member, uh, you are really cutting yourself short, believe me, uh, because they are not here forever. None of us is. But uh, I wish that I had hugged my mother a little tighter. I wish I had told her I loved her more than what I did. Uh, and, as, and my father, because... In my house, we did not show affection. We did not really, we're not touchy-feely. And I don't know if I ever told my dad I loved him, but he never told us either. But boy, we knew we were loved, if you know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, keep a journal. I have 17 of them. I can't find them at the moment, somewhere in my spare bedroom. But uh, 
I did have a good day, but uh, problem is uh, the pain pills they gave me is not going to make it till my I see my surgeon. So I'm going to have to go back to another urgent care. I don't know. So I'm going to make a blackberry cobbler. I had never made one in my whole life. So you can buy some frozen blackberries. And uh, I'm going to make that tonight, maybe. So I am very, very tired. I was up half the night. I was so excited about my job. But uh, Also, I um, saw this term I'd never seen before. BDE. I didn't even know what that was. Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is on here because YouTube may not monetize this video if I tell you what it means. But you can look it up. BDE. B is in boy. D is in Debbie. E is in Edward. I will tell you this. I have it. I don't hold back. I don't hold back. And I know a lot of women... Um, wish they were like me because I've had a lot of women say, God, I wish I was like you and I could just say and do what I wanted to. But I think one of the biggest regrets I have in my life is that I didn't tell people what I, what I was feeling and what I thought about them. But I was always afraid I'd offend somebody uh, or I was always particular about people's feelings. But there are some times where you have to tell people uh, how you feel and you should you should unless of course it's going to hurt you financially or whatever then you shouldn't but um so and then I I was watching Gotham and I have a crush on the penguin uh, Lord Taylor I think his name is but um I is he goes by the name of Cobblepot so I looked up the word Cobblepot because I like to to learn the origin of names and I thought that was such a very a unique name Cobblepot well I looked that up under Google and I go oh my god I can't even talk about that one either I will not this will not get monetized but look up that name too I just feel so embarrassed about that so I will say goodbye and I'm gonna um go lay down and rest bye